I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my overview view Capricorn for the week of May the 23rd. We just went through a pretty intensive sort of disruptive weekend. We had a full moon, uh, the sun was opposite Mars and Mercury out of retrograde. So pretty intense. And we still got that energy coming into this week. It will sort of start to clear, but certainly the first half of this week is can be sort of disruptive so you want to sort of keep that in mind um, perhaps not a great time to really make any major decisions or have any heart to hearts okay now um, so even though mercury is you know out of retrograde it's still in that storm part of the transit where it can be you know quite disruptive now the sun moved into a solar six house on friday the 19th and venus is going to move in this week um, ingress into this area of our uh, chart on Tuesday the 24th that'll be. So this area is very good for productivity particularly with the Sun there it helps us get organized but with Venus there it focuses our attention on looking after ourselves, looking after our health and well-being and our beauty. Great time to relook at your uh, overall regime, uh, exercise, diet, supplements, and uh, also great for uh, beauty and an image overhaul. But uh, so this whole area of health, well-being, and I remember when I lived in Sydney and uh, went to a doctor at Double Bay, and Dr. Dan, I always remember Dr. Dan saying, you know, simply because you live in the city, then uh, you really should have a good multivitamin if nothing else you know and and good uh, emphasis on good because the health coaches and experts tell me that all vitamins are not equal now of course if you're lucky enough to live out in the country and have fresh you know beautiful fresh clean air maybe not so much but you know whatever it is for you this is a good week to make sure that you're looking after yourself okay and sort of so put you a lot further up the top of the to-do list. Now, um, so as Venus moves into this area of a chart, she's going to be opposite Mars. Now, Mars is in the sign before us. Now, traditionally, an opposition can be confronting. Not so much here, I feel, because it's immutable signs. And Venus and Mars together, it's like you can get a spark of energy. About with Mars being, and, and Mars is retrograde too, so it softens it off a little bit. And with Mars being in the sign before us, um, that just helps us get in touch with the reality of what we want in our life, particularly uh, with relationships and particularly with with money like where are we in our life where do we want to be and this can sort of just help to trigger off because Mars is like the trigger and pushes you and it's like the motivator so you can come to some real realizations and it might be different to what you think I mean you know what do you the values that you grew up with I mean life changes you change so you want to be prepared to change along with the changing times okay um, and Mars will move back into our area of uh, friendships later in the week and it's retrograde move and social events and um, so if you've got an outstanding issue with some friends this is the time to deal with that as well we do have a square between Jupiter and Saturn Saturn being a ruling planet um, and it helps us sort of just keep us grounded, particularly on our far, our long range plans. And, you know, once again, what our long range train or our, our inner heart desires were, uh, you know, two, one, two, three, five, ten years ago. I mean, it might be time to bring that up, have a look at it, and update it, okay? All right, so love and light to you. I do hope it's a great week. It's certainly a, a week where things can happen um, and it's sort of a week where it pushes into action. So uh, day by day is uh, something different happening this week. So let's see how the week turns out. Love and luck to you. Thanks for watching.